Hello and welcome to Galaxy Advisors. The purpose of this video is to explain how to install MySQL on a Mac and I've updated it as of December 27, 2014. Now note this updated video is to a previous recorded YouTube video whose audio suddenly went out of sync and here was that previous YouTube link. So there are three overall steps to installing MySQL on a Mac. First is to identify your Mac kernel as 32 or 64-bit. Now don't worry, this step is easy. Second is to download and install the appropriate MySQL version. I'll explain how to do that. And third, for the older MySQL 10.7 package for Lion, install the MySQL preference pane to manually start and stop the MySQL server or enable it to start automatically when your Mac starts. Now note the newer MySQL 10.9 or 10.8 packages install the preference pane along the base package and there's no separate preference pane installation and I'll cover both of these options. So identify your Mac kernel and how do you do that? The first step is to identify the machine is running a 32 or 60-bit bit kernel. So to do that we're going to start the terminal app so open a finder window click on the applications that you'll see as example here in the screenshot and scroll down to the utilities folder double click inside that utilities folder and then scroll down and click on the terminal app as I indicated here in step two. So double click the terminal app. The terminal app will start in a window like this will, will appear and in the terminal uh, um, prompt click in it and type in uname minus a u-n-a-m minus a and if at, when you hit enter then you're going to get a message back and if you see an x86 underscore 64 at the end you're running a 64-bit machine thus download and use the MySQL 64-bit version if you see i386 that means a 32-bit kernel and thus download the 32-bit version which by the way are pretty much older Macs so all the newer Macs are all 64 now so uh, generally, at Lion is one of the last ones that it will have a 32-bit uh, kernel. So if you're running something uh, more recent, uh, most likely you're going to see the X64 um, at the end of that kernel. So download MySQL. Go to http colon development.mysql.com forward slash downloads forward slash MySQL. All these URLs are under the show more beneath the YouTube video, so it's easier to copy, copy and paste that in. And you'll see the current versions are a Mac for an OS X 10.9 which also will run on the 10.10 .10, uh, Yosemite, 10.8 for Mountain Lion, then the older 10.7 for Lion itself, and that's probably one of the last ones you'll see, the 32-bit DMG archive. So download the appropriate package, depends on what um, OS X version you're running and what uh, bit kernel you have. And uh, the main thing is do not download the compressed tar files. These are instructions for the .dmg files. Uh, step five, uh, you'll once you do that, you're going to get a login, sign up, or no thanks, just start my downloads. You can click on the no thanks message that I've highlighted down here, or you can prefer to log in or sign up. And after downloading, double click the DMG file. So these are the current ones, 10.9 or 10.8, and a window will open with one file. Again, the newer files, the system preference, MySQL preference pane, will be installed with this one package. Um, or in step six, as an alternative, the 10.7, uh, you'll see four um, packages uh, there, or four files open, and you're going to install the main and the start-stop package. So it depends on what version you've downloaded. Uh, so again, double-click on the package that you've downloaded here. And then a series, so a window will open, and a series of installation um, sequence steps will um go on from there and just click through those steps. Some of them change between the package but overall this is a, a generally the steps that um, sequence that you'll go through. So click continue, uh, click continue again, uh, click continue when you select e English, uh, click agree uh, to the installing the software terms, uh, then uh, click install uh, here at this window and then finally type in your computer's password and step 14 click install software and step 15 you may 
after a series of installation messages may appear you may get a message the installation failed don't panic don't worry this is really not true just click close or you might get um, alternatively a message says success uh, in any event you should be okay if just follow those steps now if you are installing the older 10.7 package you're next going to install the MySQL preference pane and if not uh, we're going to skip to step 19 so the MySQL preference pane again enables you to start and stop the MySQL server again double click on the DMG file for the older 10.7 package and you'll see that set of four files and this time double click on the MySQL preference pane start stop icon uh, double click the preference plane and follow the install instructions and again you only need to do this once and this will complete the one-time MySQL installation so next how do you start the MySQL server well regardless of what version uh, that you've downloaded and install in step 19 click the black apple in the upper left corner click on system preferences step 21 um, under other or some place in the preference um, uh, system preferences you'll see the MySQL icon as I indicated here and double click on it and then you'll get a prompt that said to use the MySQL preference pane system you must quit and reopen just click OK and then you'll get a new window in step 23 click the start MySQL server button you'll notice that in red it says stop and once you click on that it will then turn green so it's going to ask you to enter your computer's password so enter your computer's password click OK and a message will appear stating that MySQL server instance is running and you'll now see that message in green just a note to stop the MySQL server click the stop MySQL server button and if you wish to automatically have the MySQL start on startup you can check that on checkbox there so to learn more about MySQL, you can go to www.youtube.com and in the um, search window, a search box, just type in how to get started with MySQL, that phrase, as I indicated here. And then you're going to find a number of MySQL video tutorials that will help you walk it through uh, more about the intricacies of MySQL. So on behalf of Galaxy Advisor, I hope that helps you install um, MySQL on your Mac.